Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots, Hats, and Western Life Enthusiasts. So picture this for a moment. It's 1980 and little Jimmy's going to the high school prom. Now, he's got himself a brand new pair of boots. He wears them boots throughout the prom. Once he's done, he grabs them boots, puts them back in the closet, never uses them again for 30 years, grabs them out of the closet. Now Uncle Jim gives them boots to little Bobby. 20 years old little Bobby doesn't say I don't like boots he just grabs them and sells them on eBay and guess what you just bought from 20 year old little Bobby a brand new pair of exotic boots at an exceptional price but put them on you figured out hey I gotta break them in now well I'm gonna show you how to break those boots in just a little bit easier right now let's get into it All right, so here I got two pairs of cowboy boots. One is a snip toe and one is an R toe. Now, these are arguably the hardest boots to break in for the simple reason that they are the narrowest toe. Um, now, there's a couple tricks you could use and that I've used to break in boots as I've been breaking in quite a bit of boots in at one time. Um, there is uh variable places to break in the boots now some people will need to break them in first on the instep you put on your boot find out when you're trying to put it through it's not going through that is the throat the instep and you will never know how that boot fits until you get it through that instep uh because they could be very tight in the instep but when you put them right through man they're the most comfortable boots in the world so First things first, you got to stretch out that instep. Uh, that is either done by pushing your way through as hard as possible until this uh, uh, comes through, maybe putting in some, some pressure, or you're going to need to uh, take it to a cobbler and have him stretch out the instep. Um, also, once you get it through, you find out that it's a little bit tight here. That's where a lot of tightness comes in. Um, right here on your pinky uh, or on the metatorsal area. Now, when you get in a brand new pair of cowboy boots and they're feeling a little tight, what I recommend you to do is to put on a thick pair of socks. Now you're thinking, man, they're really tight on me. Why would I want to put a thick pair of socks? You know, I want to put a thin pair of socks. Well, if you do put on that thick pair of socks, what they'll do is that it will actually expand it uh, just a little bit more as you're walking with it. Yeah, it's, it takes a little bit hurting, uh, but you will expand it more. Now, I recommend you don't go out and, you know, work a full day's work in those tighter boots. Go to the grocery store or wherever. It's going to just take you a couple hours to go and just walk with them okay now i understand if you're feeling like you could you know take on a whole day that's great but if you're gonna go ahead and do that just make sure that you uh you take an extra pair of boots with you to work just in case you can't take it anymore you at least you have an extra pair of boots and and you've stretched them out for three four five hours as much as you could have taken and then you switch out to your uh already broken in pair of boots now another thing you could do to break in your boots um, is use this big, uh, big more uh, boot stretcher. Um, all you have to do with that is, you know, you grab it, you spray it in the troubled area, you know, if it's over here, and then it'll soften up the leather. Now people say that this is basically 50% alcohol and 50% water. But some of you guys might be hesitant about putting that alcohol and water on there. And you just want to get something that is actually already meant for it. Just buy this. It's only a few bucks. Uh, less than 10. So that's a good way of doing it. Now, if you just feel like it's just hurting you just a little bit more right here on your pinky. Um, you could use this. This is something called a uh, gel cord protector. And what it will essentially do, it's, it's very simple. It's non-medicated. All it is, 
is this little strap that kind of goes around here and on the inside on on one side where where your um where your pinky is on the outside it has a little gel insert and what it does essentially is it'll make your little pinky comfortable but it will that gel will also put pressure right in your pinky area where it will stretch out the boot without hurting you uh so that is a great way this mix with that is awesome now some people get it on the on the metatorsal area just behind the pinky um they get um they get a little foot pain right here on the biggest biggest part of your foot uh now what you could use for that is another corn uh corn cushion those little uh i call them donuts uh, little donuts, they're only a couple dollars uh, at Walmart. And uh, you just put them on the outside of your, uh, of the, uh, you know, little ball of your foot. Uh, and, you know, you just wear it out. And they'll do the same thing essentially, is they'll stretch that area, out, that area out. All you're doing is you're pinpointing the area that needs to be stretched more and you're doing it in a comfortable way. And, and you know, you're just walking around with it and letting that boot conform. Now, if it's too much, you might need to take it to a cobbler, uh, but take it to a reputable cobbler because for instance, this is goatskin. This will conform really comfortably and be great. There's other leathers out there uh, like reptiles, like this lizard here that I've actually gotten stretched by a, by a cobbler who knows what he's doing. And all these, um, boots that have you know uh, that are reptiles and that have tiles uh you want to be careful that they don't stretch them out too much at one time they need to have that experience that they know that they gotta uh gradually stretch them out um and that's a way of doing it now some people say you know hey i'm gonna dunk my boots in water and they'll be fine that's great if that works for you that's awesome but a lot of people are concerned about doing something like that and they wouldn't want to grab a 800 dollars pair of cowboy boots and just dunk them in water um so this tricks actually do help now uh these are my little tips uh and i think that once you're done and you put those thinner socks on afterwards uh on those boots that you've broken in in such a way uh you put your boot on you're gonna find that your boot fits a whole lot better. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, these tricks did help me and I hope they'll help you. Well, if you like the video, uh, please hit like, subscribe. And if you have any tips on, uh, just you know, write it down in the comment below and, and tell me what you think. Uh, and we have a lot more things coming to the channel. So be sure to hit that little bell notification. Uh, that's all for today though. Have a good one.